Okay, this video we're talking about phase. We're not talking about a phase that you go through as you're growing up. We're talking about uh, the phase of a wave, or phase uh, as a reference point. This is a wave. Um, we can put it on an axis if we like. And there are sections of this wave that we would uh, consider to be in phase. These two points here, points 1 and 2, are in phase. 1 and 2 are in phase. That means they are at the same point in the wave propagation or, or displacement of the, of the medium uh, as each other. They're both at a maximum amplitude. Okay, so they're both at a maximum positive amplitude. Now, uh, if we're talking about something that is out of phase, if we consider point 1 again, but this time we're going to consider the bottom over here, we'll call this point 3. Points, points 1 and 3 are exactly, exactly out of phase. Okay, so we've got in phase, and we've got exactly out of phase for 1 and 3. Okay, we could also describe these um, because this is a sine curve, you've got 90 degrees, uh, 180, 270, and then 360, but which is also 0 degrees because it starts repeating, which is another way to look at the points that are in phase, um, is the points that will begin the wave forming again. But anyway, another way to look at these phase differences, when they're in phase, they're either a, a whole number of um, 360 degree lengths out, so it could be n times 360 degrees, where n is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, it could be um, for ones that are out of phase, between point, um, if we come down here, point 1 and point 3, that's 270 minus 90 is 180 degrees phase difference for out of phase. Okay, now, just to make this a wee bit more confusing, you can have phase differences uh, that match up whatever that that angle of difference between the two points may be. So you can have a whole range of phase differences and usually um, when waves are side by side they don't um, they don't come in phase automatically. Okay, so they're more likely to be out of phase than in phase because there's so much more of the wave that is at a different phase point if you think of it in terms of degrees, you have 360 points, and only two of those, the first and the last, are exactly in phase. In fact, the first one is actually zero. So you could say that there's no two points that are the same on a wave. Okay. Now let's have a quick example of uh, waves that are in phase. When you're looking at a laser, laser, L-A-E-S-E-R, we're talking about light. Um, that you shine from a little thing and it sends a beam out and uh, it's really cool and can be really good for playing with cats or annoying teachers. Um, don't annoy your teachers please. A laser is um, monochromatic light that means it's light of chromatic means it's light of one color mono meaning one, chroma is to do with color um, so it's monochromatic, one, one color is also um, uh, uh, in phase, or uh, coherent is what we would call it, coherent. That means all of those waves are lining up together and they're in phase with each other. So the peaks are all at the same time uh, peaking. I haven't drawn this too well, but that's a really important factor with lasers because if they're not in phase with each other, if, if all the wave that's being, uh, light waves that are being produced by the laser out of fact, you wouldn't get a nice clear beam that you would see um, when it makes a dot on a thing. You would get, this is jumping ahead just a little bit, but you would get a, um, when you, you can add waves, and if you had a wave that's arriving out of phase, see a peak and a trough, they'll cancel each other out. One's the positive and one's the negative, but we'll get and then the same here, the negative and the positive would cancel each other out and you'd have nothing. You'd have just a nothing at all. Okay, I was going to draw something, but then that would be uh, something when it's nothing. Um, so that's the idea of phase relationships.